All right, let's talk a little bit more before we get into textures and textures overlays. And these two have similarities, but they're both quite different. So uh, if we turn this uh, screen tone horizontal on, we're gonna go ahead and change this one out. So we're gonna go to F11 here. And this first one we're gonna do is restore. Now what restore does, by default, it's set to 50. If you set that to 100, and its opacity obviously needs to be set to 100 as well, that's gonna give you whatever your BPR render is, kind of like before you applied, and if you went through and you turned off all these filters, this is what your BPR render would look like. So essentially it's restoring back before all of these filters are applied to this state. So of course you can go through here and you can like set this to multiply or set it just your shadows with multiply and you can kind of restore back or you know the opposite. And if you want to start adding in some of your original pre-filter image back into your end result, uh, restore is the way to do that. So let's go ahead and turn our shadow back down to zero and our blend mode back to replace. And there is a back and a front color here. So again, if you wanted to do like blue and I don't know, blue green, you can do that. And we'll go ahead and switch these back to black and white. And where those are stored, uh, by the way, and we're gonna get back to this in just a second here, is right in here near, under, underneath your render menu, there's a render pass sub menu. And you're gonna see under shaded here, that's what it looks like when you hit render and you don't apply any filters. So if we go down here and we turn off this restore, you're going to see this composite changes to whatever this BPR filter result is, and that's a called the composite image. Over here in Shaded, this is what it looks like with your BPR filters turned off. So with this restore point, if we turn this on, it's actually going to replace this composite because now the composite includes a restore filter. So it's actually putting your Shaded over top all of your BPR filters, essentially making these two the same image. However, if we go down here and instead of doing filter restore, let's do render composite. And what that's gonna do is instead of taking this pre-BPR filter result, it's gonna take our composite result, which is everything with our BPR render and all these things turned on, and it's gonna put it right here. You need to go down here to this texture and turn it on. That'll throw the composite texture in there. And now you have an extra version of your composited image that you can do whatever you want to. Again, you can go down here to your blend mode. You can set it to multiply. You can just have it happen in your shadows if you want to. It's essentially a way to get a snapshot of all these filters up to this point, composited all into one filter, and then being able to use that as another way to modify your final image. Now let's go ahead and go to this um, blend mode and we'll turn this back to replace. Another cool thing you can do with this composite feature is you can render out two uh, different views. So if I take this three quarter view we have, I'm gonna make this a bit smaller, and we'll go ahead and hit render. Oops, let's turn that texture off. And then now we go ahead and hit render. And again, that's going to save that render composite right here. We have a render composite set. Go ahead and turn that texture on. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and let's turn off our perspective and we're gonna go ahead and move this over to the left here. And we're gonna do another render. And you may notice right here that uh, the very dark areas of the image are actually turning out a little bit transparent. Go into your modifiers here and say, take this transparent black and put that at zero. And also you're gonna see that our other object disappeared. What we need to do is we need to set this composite image that we have loaded. Let's go ahead and change that blend mode over here to multiply. And now we're gonna have our new image and our composite image that is right here. Set the multiply so now we can have two versions of our image rendered at the same time. There are more modifiers in here you can play with. Um, you can do some really weird stuff with like, uh, if you go in here to the render composite, you can actually crank out the number of render composites that you have. And then you can go in here to modifiers and you can change the base orientation, you can rotate them around. You can change the orientation count if you want to. And again, that transparent black, you can make the black areas more or less transparent. So play around with that if you want to. I usually let's leave these alone. And then we'll go ahead and set that render composite back to zero.